Mamma mia, that's uh, some piece to cut. Spicy meatballs, Jack. Sorry. Take 28. Out, Tony. And action. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Cut. What was the matter with that? The accent. <laughs> cut. Meesy, meesy, ballsy, ballsy. Cut. Take 59. And action. Jack. Sometimes you eat more than you should. And Jack. when it's spicy besides, mama mia, do you need Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer can help unstuff you, relieve the acid indigestion, and help make you your old self again. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Cut. Okay, let's break for lunch. I'll never forget the day we got our marriage license. Frank was late. And after an hour went by, I felt achy all over and my stomach was upset. I really felt rotten. And the poor clerk was getting more upset than me. Clock's a little fast. Oh, thank you. You must be excited. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. You don't feel good, do you? Yeah. Hmm? I feel achy all over. My stomach's bothering me. I don't feel too good. I don't feel too good either. Who died? I could have strangled him. Well, now Frank and I have been together 42 years. It hasn't always been a bed of roses, but it's been good. It's been good. 42 years with Frank and Alka-Seltzer. For over 40 years, nothing has worked better than Alka-Seltzer. Get set! That was pretty good vibes for a change. What was it? Blueberry tang? Yeah, blueberry. First contest, kid? <laughs> Follow me. This is Alka Seltzer. Gets rid of that stuffy feeling. When you've been on the circuit as long as I have, you'll know. See you around, kid. Next time you overeat, take what the guys who overeat for a living take. Alka-Seltzer. I think I'd worked for the paper about two weeks when old man Murphy said he wanted to see me at the end of the day. Now, I was only a kid, scared to death. I felt a little like I was about to meet my maker. You think this is good? Yes. I do, sir. Oh, you do, huh? Yes, sir, I, re I really do, S sir. Well, so do I. So do I. So, you're gonna make five dollars more a month. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, I tell you, I felt a little queasy walking out of that office. Yeah. Felt achy all over. My stomach was so upset, it felt like a bag full of doorknobs. Now, that was 40 years ago, 1934. And you know, I still take Alka-Seltzer. For over 40 years, nothing has worked better than Alka-Seltzer. Once upon a time, twin brothers were born. Although normal in most respects, there was a strange relationship between them. Whatever one experienced, Ow! the other felt. This made a very carefree life for one. But it caused problems for the other. And as they grew to manhood, the one whose life was completely without cares became more and more daring. He indulged. He overindulged and re-indulged. While the other suffered the consequences, stuff his stomach, bulging belly, and a too full tummy. But the carefree brother, while feeling nothing, was not without feeling for his brother. So whenever he overindulged, he took two Alka-Seltzer, which needless to say was a great relief to his brother.
got a bowl of goldfish on the seat. We at American Motors never had the reputation for building hot, sporty cars. Then we built the Javelin. Hello, mon ami. You wish to race with me? No. Merci. <laughs> Very well. It can go from zero to 60 in 7.86 seconds. Now we have the reputation for building hot, sporty cars. This uh, Javelin is priced lower than the other sporty cars. Well, uh, I know my cars, and uh, you could have fooled me, you know? I mean, take them bumpers. Not now, stupid! And these no vent windows, they're all the glass. Hey, lots of glass, lots of glass! Hey! Shut up. Hey, Hood. The Hood. 232 Cubon, six pack, seven main bearing crank, all synchromesh gearbox. Hey, that's a car. Back seats roomy, the front's roomier. It'll hold the gang. So, uh, in conclusion, I can honestly say that this new Javelin's got everything that we look for in a car. Hey, punks! Get away from that car! Hawk, I hear a voice. Sorry, man. All right, now let's see if we can find first. No, that's not it. No, believe me, it's in there somewhere. No matter how rough you treat a rebel, it's awfully hard to hurt it. A survey of professional driving schools shows that they use more of our cars than any other kind. How am I doing? A lot better than yesterday. Turn left. I can't do it while you're watching me. Okay, turn left. No, no, here! How does it feel the first time out in traffic, Mr. Moss? Mr. Moss? Mr. Moss? Look out for the truck! What truck? Behind the bus! What bus? The Rebel has held its own against some of the worst drivers in the world. Sh should I turn the w windshield wiper on? At this point, it looks like the rebels are going to outlast the teachers. Some guys never know how good they have it. Take Eddie. Five minutes, girl. Day after day, a stranger in paradise. And nobody notices him. It's Eddie, hand me this, and Eddie, get me that. And nobody knows he's there. Then one day, Eddie wears a new shirt, a blue and orange striped number from Arrow. All of a sudden, everybody notices Eddie. Well, maybe Arrow shirts aren't for everybody after all, especially if you have a job like Eddie's. But if you have a job like Eddie's, Five minutes, girls. Who needs arrow? Oh, the disadvantages of the new Benson and Hedges 100s. They're a lot longer than king size. And that takes some getting used to. <laughs> Benson and Hedges 100s are the new longer filter cigarettes. Three puffs longer, four puffs longer, maybe five puffs longer than king size. Once you get the hang of them, America adjusts to the new longer Benson and Hedges 100s. Erica adjusts to the new longer Benson and Hedges 100s.
America adjusts to the new longer Benson and Hedges 100s. America adjusts to the new longer Benson and Hedges 100s. The extra puffs you get with Benson and Hedges 100s depends upon how you puff. The number of extra puffs you get with Benson and Hedges 100s depends upon how you puff. Benson and Hedges 100s are longer than king size, at the same price as king size. Oh, the disadvantages of the new Benson and Hedges 100s. They're a lot longer than king size, and that takes some getting used to. Benson and Hedges 100s are the new longer filter cigarettes. Three puffs longer, four puffs longer, maybe five puffs longer than king size. Once you get the hang of them, oh, the disadvantages of the new Benson and Hedges 100. They're longer than king size. A lot longer than king size. Three puffs, four puffs, maybe five puffs longer than king size. Once you get the hang of them, America adjusts to the new longer Benson and Hedges 100s. The cigarette that's longer than king size at the same price as king size has put our entire nation to the test. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Yankee ingenuity has triumphed. Baggage handling is a very important part of running an airline. And we at Braniff are always checking to make sure things go smoothly. This week I'm sending myself to St. Louis. The idea is always to baggage ahead of the passengers. But we never treat the baggage like baggage. We're fast, but gentle. Gentle? Uh, this is the most boring part of my job. Let's face it, in here, if you're not a suitcase, there just aren't any kicks. <laughs> the home stretch. This year, we've cut our average delivery time from nine minutes to a breathtaking six minutes, five seconds. Possibly a new world's record. Gee, I wonder what's keeping the guy who's supposed to pick me up. Right up here. Eight days of hearings and revelations that astounded a nation. He witnessed John Alias exposed when questioned by Senator Senator. Is your name John Alias? I refuse to answer on the grounds that it might tend to incriminate me. 
Is it not true you're trying to take over the candy industry? I refuse to answer And that is it not true you put a well-known milky caramel bar and a famous bar made with pounds of coconut together for the price of one? I decline to Then a the super ground. dramatic incident. Are these not stolen goods? No, Senator. Stolen goodies? <laughs> Then defense counsel closed with these words. If making the most delicious candy bar in the world is a crime, we plead guilty. Two hot candy bars in one. Stolen goodies, the first candy bar in America sold under the counter. Oh, hey, how will I know you? Long blonde hair, sunglasses, terrific, Gloria. I'll see you at six. Gloria? Gloria? It seems like everywhere a guy looks, girls are wearing Foster Grant sunglasses, which is great for the girls, but sometimes a little confusing for the guy. Hi, I've been looking all over for you. Uh, you dig the stones? Yes, very nice. Oh, because I got two tickets for uh, tonight's performance. Oh, Second row. I love Sam. I really, really love Sam. Bernice? Warren? Freddie. Gloria? Bernice. Warren. Freddy? Buffalo, Rochester. Freddy? New York Central train number 90. You must be Gloria. <laughs> Foster Grants, one of the sweet mysteries of life. And Albany. I wonder what can be keeping him. Pardon, Your Excellency, but the people, they grow restless. But my sunglasses, I can't find them. Where are my sunglasses? Major Armando, we have a pair of missing sunglasses to find. Perhaps I should inform the people that His Excellency is unavoidably detained. Foster Grant sunglasses seem to do strange things for some people. Put on a pair and they seem to have just a little more self-confidence, a little more power. My okay, quiz kid, name this one. It's a rather uh, pretentious young pilsner, it's a little light on the hops. Dungo hop is cold, right? The guy's a genius. It's a noble Bavarian flavor. It's naturally carbonated. This is, uh... Come on, come on, quit stalling. Wait, I'll gab with the boys, and you linger over the flavor. The gap link is, uh, you know, the woman no uh, carbohydrates. He'll gab, and you'll linger. Gablingers. <laughs> Gablingers can fool you. It tastes like any other good beer. Ruthie? Never forget the day Papa came home from the Great War. That afternoon, what a party Mama made. You should have seen the food. Lots of salami and bologna and those special thick, juicy frankfurters. All kosher, all Hebrew national. It's still Hebrew national in our home. For us, the only real delicatessen. Only now, everybody can buy it in supermarkets and delicatessens all over. I still think of what Mama used to say. Don't eat just to live. Live to eat. Hebrew National. Eat. Miss, I wonder if you can help me. I'm trying to get... Miss, I'm trying to find a sleepy swan mot... At some rent-a-car companies, once you get the car, you're on your own. 
Come Excuse here. Excuse me. Are the uh, Sleepy Swan Motel? Sleepy. Yeah. Sleepy. Well, right now, they come. They come back. Come back. Over there. And you can't miss it. There's a plastic swan on the lawn. But when you rent a Ford from Hertz, we give you specially diagrammed maps so you won't get lost. Not like the maps and confusing directions you usually get. We're going into that little blue squiggle line, I see? see the blue That's going to... Forget that. I just put you on the river. I just put you on the river. <laughs> Four blocks to Highland. Turn right. You don't turn right. You turn left. Are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished. Give the guy to work. Hey, yo, Ma, I'm talking to my friend. Hey, yeah. give him the right to At Hertz, we've come to the conclusion that to get where you're going, it helps to know where you're going. You see, at Hertz, you don't just rent a car. You rent a company. While we're here, don't you think we should ask for directions? Herb, don't worry. I got a sense of direction like a homing pigeon. Given a fair degree of intelligence, any businessman can become a missing person. Weren't we supposed to take that exit? No, Herb. It's the one with the two trees. Did, did we want area five or six? Herb, you're making me nervous. I can't drive like that. Will you keep your eye on the road? Oh, yeah. When you rent a Ford from Hertz, please ask for help. We'll give you specially made maps to get you out of the airport and around the city. We'll even diagram them. After all, the least we can do is make sure you don't spend the day driving around in circles. I, I really don't think we should be here. Trust me, Herb. Trust me. Every car engine has an enemy. Dirt. Good evening. My name is Mr. Dirt, and this is my resting place. But now I must go and satisfy my insatiable desire to foul up car engine parts with dirt. Maybe your car? <laughs> dirt has an enemy. Mobile detergent gasoline. Mobile hates dirt. Every car engine has an enemy. Dirt. I'm about to make a phone call. Thanks, Garage. Would you mind stepping back a little, please? Stepping back a little? Thank you! <laughs> dirt has an enemy. Mobile detergent gasoline. Mobile hates dirt. All right, first thing, make sure your water is hot, very hot. Don't worry, won't melt your face. This is your shaving ladder. Put it on thick, you put it on heavy, you rub it on your face, rub it in real good. Okay? This is your razor. It is sharp, very sharp. You hear me? You hear me? Okay? Don't introduce yeah. your son to shaving as you know it. Your son deserves better. Break his beard in right with a Remington electric shaver. And this thing here is a styptic pencil. The man with the eye of an eagle, the great Hercule. Who will be the first to challenge the eye of Oculo? Oculo, what is the tiny object this young lady is holding? A nickel and the date. 19. Uh, madam, please move your finger. 36. <laughs> and this gentleman, Oculo. That gentleman is holding a watch. And that watch is inscribed, together always, love, Agatha. That's right. <laughs> and I Can you find the zipper in her dress? A zipper! Talon has created an invisible zipper for home sewers. It works like a zipper, but it looks like a seam. Now, just a moment, please! Please! Give the poor man a chance! Talon's invisible zipper. Not seeing is believing. I, Harrison J. Millman, being of sound mind and memory, do hereby declare this to be... This to be Miss G. My last will and testament to Jeffrey with a G. My firstborn, I give the sum of $10,000 and my health club membership. To my brother-in-law, Alec, I give the sum of $300. To Harvey, $5,000, provided he passes his bar examinations before the age of 28.
the remainder of my estate I bequeath to my diligent, loyal, not so good on typing, but a fine telephone voice, my faithful secretary, Maureen. Don't wait for a windfall. See your traveler's planner for a flexible financial program. Do something to help yourself. TWA, lost and found. A pair of thimbles? Thimbles, not thimbles, thimbles. Oh, thimbles. I see them, I got them. You got them? You got them? Yeah, can you bring them here? Backstage. Ask for Ephraim. Don't worry, I'm on my way, sir. When TWA promised its people a million dollar bonus for outstanding service, we didn't know how outstanding the service could be. Symphony Hall and fast. TWA's million dollar bonus. It's working. Hey, Philly, did you see the faces on those people when they found their bags waiting for them? I wouldn't take any bows if I were you, mister. We were lucky. Lucky? lucky we got three flights in under nine minutes today. Yeah, we should have had four. Joey, I told you a million times I want you on my right when I come off that number two rack. But I was hailing a dog cage and the dog bit me. Myron, you still got that St. Bernard at home? Yes, yeah, Billy, why? Yeah, bring him in tomorrow. And a special dog cage drill, 7 o'clock. <laughs> TWA has promised its people a million dollar bonus if they can make you happier than any other airline. At TWA, the faster a baggage handler moves for you, the better he can do for himself. We got three flights under nine minutes. We should have had four. As I was saying last night, nobody gives you something for nothing. Yes, Rose. If I didn't think you had it in you, I wouldn't be talking this way. Honey? It's not as though I wanted anything for myself. I want it for you. TWA has promised its people a million dollar bonus when they give exceptional service. If you recommend one of our employees for a bonus, it means he could take home some of that money. When you see a customer, jump. Yes, and, Rose. And if somebody wants a window seat, try to give them a window seat. Remember, success has many fathers, but defeat is, is an orphan. Remember, success has many fathers, but defeat is an orphan. Good morning, TWA. <laughs> Rose, I told you never to call me here. Behind every great TWA ticket agent, you'll probably find a great woman. In Pacific, Missouri, Richard yeah. Winkler rides herd on his cattle without riding a horse. He rides a bug. Yeah. One of the fastest, strongest, most dependable animals alive. He's here! Ladies and gentlemen, the 18 millionth person in the world to buy a Volkswagen just walked through our doors. This is an historic moment. 
Excuse us, boys. For who would have thought 22 years ago, when only two Beatles were sold in the United States, that this day would come? I'll tell you who, Volkswagen. For while everyone else was experimenting with new cars every year, Volkswagen stuck with one, improving and refining it year after year, until it has come to this, the 1971 Super Beetle. The 18 million Volkswagen made goes to, uh, sorry, sir, your name, sir? Oh, Norman. Mr. Norman, what do you have to say about all this? Oh, I just wanted who wanted the Tuna, whole wheat, iced tea, no lemon. What? You gonna tell me about the rabbits again, George? No, Barney. You know what we have to do today. Yeah, I remember, George, but I can't drive no Volkswagen. I can't work no gear shift. I can't use no clutch pedal. Barney? If I've told you once now, I've told you a hundred times. This is the new thing Volkswagen has. It's called the automatic stick shift. There ain't no clutch pedal, and there ain't no problems. I don't know, George. I just don't know. Barney, you get in the car. I get in the car. You turn on the key. I turn on the key. You put it in drive. I put it in drive. And you drive away. And I drive away. Yes, <laughs> Barney, it's as simple as ABC. That's right, George. It's as simple as a... Uh, uh, Chances are, a normal station wagon won't be large enough. So, maybe you ought to consider something not quite so normal. Like a Volkswagen. I'm actually Snavely being of sound mind and body to hereby bequeath the following. To my wife, Rose, who spent money like there was no tomorrow, I leave $100 and a calendar. To my sons, Rodney and Victor, who spent every dime I ever gave them on fancy cars and fast women, I leave $50 in dimes. To my business partner, Jules, whose only motto was spent, 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 I leave nothing, nothing, nothing. And to my other friends and relatives who also never learned the value of a dollar, I leave a dollar. Finally, to my nephew Harold, who oft times said, a penny saved is a penny earned, and who also oft times said, gee, Uncle Max, it sure pays to own a Volkswagen. I leave my entire fortune of $100 billion. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm from Volkswagen, and I've got a music problem. Hi, Ronnie. I'm Johnny. You got a problem. We got a song. Well, we're very excited about the 29 improvements in our 1972 Super Beetle. Uh -huh. uh, I thought perhaps a theme song. We did car gigs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, improvement number in ratio has been optimized. This piston's optimized compression ratio. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, oh, oh. You got anything else? Improvement number two. Uh, increased air inlet groupings. Number 18, an advanced manifold preheating system. Finally, improvement number 29, floating bearings for most mounting points. The most improved Volkswagen ever. Kid, 5,000 canaries whistling the bluebird of happiness couldn't help you. And now the star of the 1949 Auto Show. The car of the future. The car the public wants. The all-new B-52. 
Miss Soto. The long skirts will be the next look on the fashion scene. The Studebaker will be the next look on the automotive scene. So there's no doubt about it, next year, every car in America will have holes in its side. The man to see if you're buying your next car for keeps is your nearby Packer dealer. Longer, longer, longer. The 49 is the car for you. So Volkswagen will constantly be changing, improving, and refining this car. Not necessarily to keep in style with the times, but to make a better car. Which means to all of you, better miles. Of all the promises made at the 1949 Auto Show, we at Volkswagen kept ours. won't let you buy a Volvo. Let her drive one. That'll really do the job. Once she gets the feel of it, she might like knowing you're getting a car that in most cases lasts long enough to get people out of new car payments and into new furniture payments or swimming pool payments or fur coat payments. Of course, if she still seems to have some doubts, let her drive a Volvo with automatic transmission. She'll feel right at home in that. How the man who drives a snowplow drives to the snowplow? This one drives a Volkswagen. So you can stop wondering. In 1966, we had 13 letters of complaint about your service from Whirlpool customers. Um, on December 17, you promised to repair a leak in Mrs. Draper's washer and instead went to play poker. And on March 24, 1967, you were rude to Mrs. Myers at 112 Wood Hollow Road. Stanley, we're very disappointed in you. Whirlpool Tech Care is a network of 1,132 of the best repair organizations in the country. And we intend to keep it that way. That's why last year we drummed out 49 of them. At Whirlpool, you shape up or ship out. Welcome. We've been expecting you. Come. I will show you around. Here is our game room. For Olympic food. <laughs> Our indoor barbecue. Gee, how come it's so cool? A new innovation down here, air conditioning. What kind of air conditioning can cool this place off? Only one whirlpool. Because only whirlpool has the panic button. An extra button for cooling off the hottest places extra fast. Well, enough about whirlpool and its panic button. Sanding, please. Leave it cool down here. Sand in the next boat. Now you can get this Whirlpool Carry Home 5000 BTU air conditioner for only $99.95.